welcome to micro communication course now uh, today we see few numericals on this uh, model 2 that we have got components and all now these are the statements here we see that find the lowest pore cut off frequency for an air filter rectangular wave guide when we have that values of a and b given a by b is equal to 2 with a is equal to 4 cm okay now here our aim is about to find out the what are the various lowest cut off frequency okay our aim is about to find out the frequencies here for an air filled rectangular wave guide when a and b now here if you see that for a rectangular wave guide one is about your rectangular wave guide so this one we say it is about a and this one is about the b now this is about your width of a wave guide and this one is about the height of a wave guide now a and b that ratio is given that will be a 2 and that a is mentioned it is about a 4 centimeter so a by b if it is a 2 then what will be the b so b will be what b will be equal to a 2 here b will be equal to a this one is about a 4 centimeter this one is about a, a 2 centimeter now we need to consider that what will be the frequency for an air filled rectangular wave guide our aim is about to find the lowest four cut off frequencies for an air filled rectangular wave guide but here that mode is not mentioned whether it is a t mode or a tm mode it is not mentioned now we consider that first a t mode and then we need to find out what are the various cut off frequencies for an air field okay that we have to consider now okay now you remember that what will be the value of a and b and at what particular frequencies here also find the mode that can be used to transmit that 8 gigahertz of a signal now we need to find out the lowest four cut of frequencies for air field rectangular wave guide with these values a and b values and then that four frequencies once we are getting then we need to find out which cut of frequencies will for, will allow to pass or which particular mode that can be used to transmit the 8 gigahertz of a signal frequency that is about our aim so we find out first what are the four first cut of frequencies now what are those four cut of four cut of frequencies here we consider here first what will be the mode here so for the given particular mode we say that consider that there will be t m n mode and then that m and n these are nothing but a constant if you consider that a m will start from 1 0 or 0 1 or 1 1 or 1 2 or 2 1 or a 2 2 likewise now these are the various frequency number m and n if we consider that 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 2 or 2 1 here and then from that we will find out that for a given particular mode a cutoff frequency so what is the equation of a cutoff frequency generally the cutoff frequency equation we see that f3 is equal to 1 by 2 under root of mu epsilon then under root of m by a bracket square plus n by b bracket okay now this one is about the equation of a cutoff frequency now for this cutoff frequency equation if we put that we say that a is equal to 4 centimeter and b is equal to 2 centimeter now we consider that m will be a 1 0 now if you use that m will be a 1 0 m will be what 
M n will be one zero. This M n one zero. Next time M n is to be a zero one. Then next time M n will be one one. So in in this case one zero case, M will be what one and N will be a zero. So this will be one. This will be zero. This term will be zero now. So our cutoff frequency will be what one by two under root mu of null into under root of M by a square. Or because this is zero, so that directly come out from the square root. So m by a, m is one, so that will be a one by a square. So that is about a f c. F c is equal to what? One by a square. So likewise. So we find out here what will be the cutoff frequencies for this one zero mode. Okay. So we will write here one by Twice of a under root mu of now because m will be one. F c when we have that m n will be what one zero. Okay, m n will be a one zero. So in that case, if you put that twice of a under root mu of now, we can put that values of a mu of now. That will be nothing but if it is a air field. Now it is mentioned that it will find the lowest four cutoff frequencies for an air field rectangular waveguide. So for a air, we will be what? For a air, if you see that, we will be what? Mu zero, mu r, and that mu r will be one, so it will be only a mu zero. So similarly, we have epsilon is equal to epsilon zero, epsilon r, epsilon r is one. For the air, so it will be what a epsilon zero. So this term, one by under epsilon here. If you put here, so that will become what a mu zero epsilon zero, and that will become say three into ten is power eight. Okay, so this particular term, one by under mu epsilon, that will be is equal to three into ten is power eight. Okay, so like that. So you can find out what will be the Value of what one by two a into three into ten for eight, and then you will get the a cutoff frequency. So for this one zero value, a is what a four centimeter. That is two in what we can say that here four centimeter we put here we have it two value. So our f c one zero that will become what a three point seven five. Then next, we consider that instead of one zero, we consider that it will be a zero, so zero one. So in that case, zero one, m will be a zero. This term will be discard. N will be a one. So one by b. Means here, what happen here? That formula will be what instead of two a, that will be a two b, two b under top me epsilon. So in that case. Zero one, okay. Yep, see zero one. That is condition that yep, see zero. Yep, it is zero and y n is one. So in that case, if you solve it to obtain the what will be the cutoff frequency. So in that case, it will be what? It will be what? A twice of b under root of a b epsilon. Okay, twice of b under root of a b epsilon. Now we know that. The ratio that a by b, we know that that ratio a by b is equal to two. So what will be the b here? B will be what a by two. Okay. So from this we can write b is equal to a by two. Now if we put that b is equal to a by two, so then this equation becomes what twice of a under root of mu epsilon. So this one is same. So in that case, our cutoff frequency for F C zero one will be what twice of a by two. So we'll write twice again here under root of a mu epsilon. So in that case, this becomes earlier equation. We can say that twice of F C one zero, or that is a two into three point seven five. That will be of Two into f c one zero is, or we can say that two into three point seven five. That will be the frequency we are getting. 
So we will write the frequency for this 3.75 gigahertz into 2. So how much it will, it will be? Okay, you can calculate that. That frequency will be what? 2 into 3.75. That will be a gigahertz. FC 01. Then FC 1 1. Condition is that M is equal to 1. N is equal to 1. So in that case, we need to find out a cutoff frequency for the same. So in that case, we will get that a cutoff frequency if you, we need to put here that m is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, and then we will get that a frequency for m is equal to 1 and n. So I'll write the equation here directly how much is the value we are getting. That will be of 8.3625 gigahertz. Here, okay, so we can write here. So the value for this is equal to 7.5 gigahertz. Then FC. 1 to n fc to 1. Okay, let's write here. fc 1 1. Okay, fc 1 1. For it, okay, fc 1 2. fc 1 2 is equal to that a frequency for here m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2. So then fc12 will be what? Into 3 point. That will be what? 16.45 gigahertz. Okay. Even we can calculate that if instead of here we say that fc10, even we can calculate that 20 or is 0 to also that fc20 is equal to that is 7.5 gigahertz and fc02 is equal to that is about that because it is about 0 to that is about it Instead of it twice, it will be of a 4 year. Okay, so that will be what? 16 gigahertz. Okay. So then, we will find out that FC12, then FC21, it will be is equal to ten point five. Okay, like this one. You see that. Okay, ten point five gigahertz. This one is about a fifteen gigahertz, seven point five gigahertz, fifteen point. So now the question is that find the cutoff frequency, find the modes that can be used to transmit the eight gigahertz of frequency. Now eight gigahertz is now our, our signal frequency, and this one is the value cutoff frequency we are getting. Okay, so here we need to find out. The mode propagating 8 gigahertz of a signal frequency. Mode, those who are propagating that is about a signal frequency that is about 8 gigahertz. Now, here we are getting a 3.75 gigahertz, then 7.5 gigahertz. Now, what is the mean? What do you mean by this FC cutoff frequency? Mode has a lowest cutoff frequency that is propagating through the rectangular waveguide. Okay, so mode that will be propagating through the rectangular wave, which has a, a lowest cutoff frequency. That is of that is meaning of the cutoff frequency. Now FC is about a 3.75 gigahertz. Now for a rectangular waveguide, so this rectangular waveguide it propagates the lowest cutoff frequency will be a 3.75. So above that, your all signal will propagate, which 8 gigahertz can be propagating. Then AFC is 7.5 gigahertz. 
So here we can say that your wave guide will propagate in the lowest frequency that will be 7.5 gigahertz. So then above that 7.5 gigahertz, your signal will propagate. Now it is about 8 gigahertz. So now it will propagate in green. Next, FC11. So here it is about 8.36. Now, 8.36 gigahertz, that is the lowest cutoff frequency propagating okay, in this particular FC11 mode. And if our signal frequency is about 8 gigahertz, whether that 8 gigahertz will propagate through this? No. Because the lowest cutoff frequency passing through the guide, that will be of a 8.36. So this will discard it. So FC11 will not, through the FC11, not allowed. FC12, it is about a lowest is 15, so it's not allowed. So here, the answer for this, find the mode that can be used to transmit the 8 gigahertz. So this mode, because it is the frequency is large, so it's not supporting. This mode, the frequency is large. So now this one is a, okay, it will be support. This is not supporting, this is not supporting. So then which mode is supporting to pass the propagating frequency signal? That is FC10, that is 3.75 gigahertz. Another is about a 7.5 gigahertz, so if that is FC01. Then FC20, it has a 7.5 gigahertz frequency. So now these are the modes. FC10, FC01, FC20. These are the modes that will pass the propagating frequency okay so what we are saying here so from this we can say that so t mode so it will consider that mode that can be used to transmit the 8 gigahertz frequency signal okay so just a that is the lowest cut of frequency so that through that we will say that these are the mode above that particular because these are the mode having the lowest cutoff frequency that will be below the 8 gigahertz. So because of that, so it will pass or it will propagating or it will allow to propagate the signal through the waveguide. Means above the values, the modes with a lowest cutoff frequency, these are the mode. This one is the lowest cutoff frequency, this one is the body lowest cutoff frequency. So these are the modes that will allow to propagate the signal through the Guide here. Now this one we say that we need to find out a four lowest cut of frequency. Now this one is for the T mode. So similarly we have to find out for the TM mode. So in the case of a TM mode, so 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 is not allowed in a TM mode. So then we need to find out for the TM, okay, whether it will be 1, 1, whether it will be 1, 0, whether it will be 1, 2, likewise. So according to that, we have to find out for the TM1 mode, TM mode, and then we will see that which one is the lowest cut of frequency. That mode will propagate the signal. Okay. So that signal frequency will be of a 8 gigahertz. Okay. So that is about your question, and we need to find out what will be the lowest cut of frequency for those particular modules. Next, find the cut of frequencies. Here, find the cutoff frequency find the cutoff frequencies for TM12 mode in Airfield, airfield waveguide whose dimensions are dimensions are as follows here. So here that is about A and B is given. Generally, it is right written in the form of A into B, so it is about 1.0 into 0 0.5 centimeter. So this one is about A, this one is about a B. Then B, 0 0.5 into 1.0 centimeter. Then C, 1.0 into 1.0 centimeter. 
then d 10 into 10 centimeters. Now that a and b is given, a in the case, first case, a 1.0 and 0.5 centimeters. So now for this particular four mode here, so our aim is about to find out the cutoff frequency. So as we know that for a given particular mode, TM12 mode, okay, so M is equal to 1 and for a, a TM12 mode, M is equal to 1 and N is equal to 2. How it is? Generally, we say that TM, this one is about M and N. So it is given that 1, 2, so TM12. And a cutoff frequency is for any mode, for a TM mode here, that will be what? A choice of under root mu epsilon. Okay, choice of under root mu epsilon. And we need to see that a m by a brackets to n by b. So this one is about a, a cutoff frequency. Okay, so we can say that we have a cutoff frequency. For this cutoff frequency, m here it is considered to be m is equal to 1. Okay, yeah. so we say that m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 now. Okay, so directly we can find out 1 by a square plus 2 by b bracket square. So this one whole square we can find out. Okay, so this one is the equation for the cutoff frequency. So now we see that a dimension a is a 1, dimension will be a 0.5 centimeter for the given particular dimension, so what will be the cutoff frequency? So first case, that is about a 1.0 and 0.5 centimeter. If you put that M and A value, so we'll get the cutoff frequency that is about a 6.18 into 10 to the power 10 hertz. Then in another case, 0.5 here, that is in the case of what you can say that 0.5 into 1 centimeter here. So in this case, we'll get that a 4.24 into 10 to the power 10 or the next about 1 into 1. So we'll get that 3.54 into 10 to the power 10 or then in another case, we'll get that 0.354 to 10 to the power 10 hertz. So this one is the value. If it's supposed to be considered that that A and B values, we will get that a cutoff frequency for the given particular values. Okay, for a TM11. Okay, so that is about a, a cutoff frequency equation. So now here, if you see here. So we have considered that only the putting the values of m and n that is 1 and 2 and different dimensions we have used here 1, 5, 0.5, 0 0.51 and from these different direct dimensions we obtain that a hey, what will be the a cutoff frequency. Okay, so this one. So directly we supposed to be considered a values and then We'll get that okay, cutoff frequency for the TM11 mode. Next part. And X band wave guide and X band wave guide filled with
एक्सपैंड वेव गाइड फील्ड विथ डायलेक्ट्रिक एप्सनॉल आर इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट टू फाइव इज ऑपरेटिंग एट is operating at 9 gigahertz is operating at 9 gigahertz then calculate phase velocity and a the group velocity calculate the phase velocities and group velocities in the wave guide so now here in this case the given the wave guide it is not air field it is a dielectric field so in this case for the dielectric field wave guide so we earlier we supposed to be consider that a cut off frequency is equal to what f c is equal to twice of under root may epsilon all into m by n okay and Okay, n by b. So now that is about the equation. Now here, in a statement, if you see that an x-band wave guide is given, so this one is about the x-band wave guide. So now for the x-band wave guide, if your wave guide is not supposed to be a x-band one, so then their dimensions becomes what a 2.286 into 1.016 cm so this one is about a and this one is about a b it is not exactly a is equal to twice b approximately a is equal to twice b now from this we will find out what will be the cut off frequencies m by a and n by b okay from this we will find out A exactly cut off frequency because the dimensions are given that A is given and B is given and then an M and N so generally the mode is given but here in this case no mere mode is given only that it is mentioned that expand wave guide filled with a dielectric. and it is operating at a 9 gigahertz and obtain that cal or calculate that phase velocity or a group velocity which mode your wave is propagating it is not given so now our aim is about to consider some modes and then we need to find out for that given particular mode so what will be the phase velocity and a group velocity now here the mode is not given then we supposed to be consider that a dominant mode so dominant mode is not what so that dominant mode has a cut off frequency will be a lowest part so generally that a t 10 mode is nothing but a dominant mode so for a t 10 mode we supposed to find out a cut off frequency put that values a and b here put that mu only mu zero is of epsilon epsilon zero so epsilon will be epsilon and epsilon zero and then we will get the cut off frequency so after solving this we will get the cut off frequencies now here dominant mode 1 zero here it will be what n by b will be zero this term will be So only the term is what that is f c is equal to what one okay so that will be one by a square so it will be one by a so it will be what a twice of under root b epsilon and a, a term is there how we can write here so we'll write here twice a Twice a hundred mu epsilon. Mu will be what? Mu zero epsilon. 
so here we can write here twice of a okay twice of a here and into what we can say that this one is about a 2.25 that is for the epsilon r and 1 by epsilon 0 is nothing but what a 3 into 10 is for 8 okay so what what do you mean with that this one if you consider that mu 0 epsilon 0 1 by mu 0 epsilon 0 that becomes what a 3 into 10 is for 8 a is in what a 2.286 centimeter means here it will be 3 by 3 into 10 for 8 by twice of a and root of 2.25 by 2.25 that is about a for the given epsilon law. and then we find out a what will be the cutoff frequency so after solving this we will get a cutoff frequency fc will be what a 4.37 Gigahertz. Then what will be the phase velocity? Phase velocity is equal to what? V into. Or we can say that 3. Suppose to consider that a 3 into 10 for 8, likewise. Under root of 1 minus lambda by lambda c. 1 minus lambda is what? Lambda we need to find out for the signal frequency here okay that is about 9 giga is given or instead of that we can write c that v or c okay this is nothing but a 3 into 8 for 8 under root of 1 minus fc by f bracket so fc is equal to what this one is a 4.35 we can put that 4.35 we can put that f will be what a for a 9 gigahertz f will be 9 gigahertz signal frequency we will get the a phase velocity so after solving we will get the phase velocity we will write here phase velocity okay so we obtain the f cutoff frequency for a dominant mode 1 0 that is 4.37 gigahertz and we obtain that phase velocity that will be a 2.28 into 10 to the power 8 to the power 6 now a group velocity group velocity is equal to what v to under root of 1 minus lambda by lambda c bracket here or fc b under root of 1 minus c by f bracket square okay you can write in terms of a fc by f or or we can write in terms of a lambda lambda by lambda c so after solving this, we will get that group velocity is equal to 1.75 into 10 to the power 8 per second. That is about a group velocity. So here we obtain the phase velocity as well as the group velocity. And this Fc and F, Fc we need to use full, we need to use it for the cutoff frequency. And then F is we need to consider that what will be the operating frequency so operating frequency if you have seen that it is given it is about a, a 9 giga is the operating frequency is given okay so now from this equation from these values if you see that the dielectric constant is given so we could not use directly that epsilon zero and mu zero here. So we need to consider that hey, what will be the dielectric constant, and then we have to obtain that a hey, f c and f here. Okay. So this one is about what we can say 
about uh, group velocity and a uh, phase velocity. Now next one. Next one, we need to consider that what will be the, the cutoff frequency, propagation constant, and a wave impedance. Okay. So now, we consider that a rectangular waveguide a rectangular waveguide has a cross section has a cross section of 1.5 into 0.8 centimeter so you can see that 1.5 to 0.8 centimeter sigma is equal to 0 mu is equal to mu 0 and epsilon is equal to 4 epsilon 0 4 epsilon is equal to 4 of epsilon 0 and the magnetic field component is given by H x is equal to choice of sign choice of sign y x by a then cos of 3 pi y by b here into sine of y into 10 to the power 11 t minus theta z ampere per meter. Okay, so now this one is a component given magnetic field component. Then determine that what will be the mode of operation, then B. A cutoff frequency, phase velocity, sorry, phase constant, then propagation constant, and a wave impedance. Okay, so we can say that a guide impedance. Okay. That guide impedance for the T mode and a TM mode. Okay, so we need to find out a mode of operation, then cutoff frequency, phase velocity, phase constant. Okay, so that is about a beta here. Okay, so likewise. So we are supposed to be consider that okay these values and we need to find out all these components here. So now from this equation that magnetic field component equation is given. Generally that sine of m pi x by a so here m will be a 1 okay so m will be 1. So n pi y by b, so n will be 3. n will be a 3 here. Okay, so means we are getting the values of m and n through this equation. And then we need to find out the what will be the a cutoff frequency. Another term from this equation it is given that y into 10 to the power 8. Means omega is equal to what? pi 10 to the power 11 okay omega t this one is about a omega t so omega is equal to given so from this we will calculate that a signal frequency that is about f is equal to 50 gigahertz okay twice pi f omega is equal to twice pi f if you convert f will be 50 gigahertz and from this we need to find out a cutoff frequency fc if you solve it for the fc using that dimension a and b using that sigma mu zero epsilon zero everything so we will get that a fc for this m is equal to one and n is equal to three so fc one three okay that mode is about fc one three here and that will be what 2.85 giga 2.85 giga and the signal frequency of f is about a 50 gigahertz. Then we find out that a phase velocity, phase constant, 
So we suppose to define the phase constant, phase velocity already we have seen. That will be what omega under root mu epsilon into under root of 1 minus fc by f bracket here. fc by getting f is a 50 giga. We will get the phase constant. Phase constant that is 20.9 radian per centimeter. Then propagation constant that will be what is z beta that will be z is equal to 20.9 that will be the propagation cost then the wave impedance wave impedance before a wave impedance we need to know about what will be the different modes we have so wave impedance z is equal to beta under root of 1 minus fc by f bracket square this one is for the t mode and then we will get the values of a right here instead of that this one is about a t mode here so we will get the values that is 188.87 eta is equal to what 125 Okay, so mu by epsilon. Actually, generally, what eta is equal to what? Eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. Put that mu and epsilon. So mu mu is mu zero, but epsilon is equal to four of epsilon zero. So this will be what? A twice of that one by four means four of four times of epsilon zero. So that mu by epsilon is nothing but a 125. So 120 divided by one by two. So we can say that. That will be a 65. So it, this will be what? Generally, mu zero epsilon zero is equal to 125. But here, the epsilon is given. Epsilon is equal to four epsilon zero means epsilon is equal to four epsilon. Zero. That will be what? N will be what? 65. Okay, so this one we are getting. So this one is the ZG for a, a T mode. We we are getting that impedance for the T mode. And the ZG for the TM mode here, so that will be what a eta divided by that under root of so that is about it. Okay, this is about eta into under root of one minus F C by F bracket. So that is about a ZG. So ZG we are getting. That will be what? 188.184. Okay, so this, this one is about if you have impedance. Okay, thank you all of you. So we have seen this. Okay, all these equations here. That is wave impedance, propagation constant, cut of frequencies, all these topics that we have seen and all these numericals that we have seen that required. Okay, thank you all of you. So maybe our meeting will end uh, after one or two minutes there. So if our meeting ends, please rejoin the meeting again and then you type your seat number in chat later. Okay. So now if you have any questions or any doubt, please ask me. So we have covered all the topics and uh, regarding the rectangular wave guide. And uh, we